two boxes on a ramp. You are lowering two boxes, one on top of the other, down a ramp by pulling on a rope parallel to the surface of the ramp. So here is the rope we pull on, but we're lowering the two boxes. So the direction of motion is down the ramp. Both boxes move together at a constant speed of 15 centimeters per second. So there's a constant speed. The coefficient of kinetic friction between the ramp and the lower box is 0.44 for this interface and the coefficient of static friction between the two boxes is 0.8. Part A, what force do you need to exert to accomplish this? And part B, what are the magnitude and direction of the friction force on the upper block? Okay, so we're going to start with uh, drawing the free body diagram for boxes 1 and 2. I have labeled these boxes. The bottom one is 1, the top one is 2. Okay, so uh, let's work on the uh, free body diagram for boxes 1 and 2. Okay, so this is on an inclined plane, um, therefore I'm going to draw the force F first. F is being applied, making an angle alpha with respect to the horizontal, as you can see here. Uh, so this is going to make an angle alpha with respect to the horizontal. Um, and the total uh, weight, so these two boxes uh, basically uh, modeled as a particle here, will have, will feel the total weight m total times gravitational acceleration g. Now, uh, if I draw a perpendicular to the ramp here, Uh, you can see that this uh, angle here will be uh, 90 minus alpha, so this angle will be alpha. So this angle is also alpha, and there will be a normal force uh, that is exerted by the ramp on the boxes, so the total normal force N uh, pointing in this direction. And because the boxes are moving down, there must be kinetic friction which is opposing uh, this motion. The kinetic friction will point up the ramp. So kinetic friction will point up the ramp here in the direction of the force N, uh, F. And uh, I want to also note that the direction of the motion is down the ramp. So this is a direction of motion down the ramp. And I want to set up my coordinate system here the, so that the x-axis will be up the ramp uh, parallel to the force F and y-axis will be parallel to the normal force. So y-axis will be like this, x-axis will be like that. And because uh, the system is not flying away from the ramp, net force on the y-axis must be equal to uh, zero. Therefore, the normal force from the ramp must be balancing the only force that has a component uh, apart from the normal force on this axis is the uh, weight. So it's going to be m total uh, g uh, cosine alpha that will be balanced by the normal force. Now this also tells me that kinetic friction will be coefficient of kinetic friction mu k times the normal force which is mu k times m total total mass uh, g cosine alpha. And the net force on the x-axis also should be zero. Why? because we have constant velocity motion on the x-axis. 
So constant velocity motion. If we had a net force, there would be a non-zero acceleration. Here the acceleration is zero. So going back here, they're moving together at a constant speed. All right. So uh, the forces on the x-axis, uh, you can see here, uh, are uh, F pointing up, FK uh, pointing uh, up the ramp, and uh, the component of the weight uh, on the ramp is M total G sine alpha, which is pointing down, and this net force should be adding up to uh, zero. So from this, uh, we can write basically the force F that we need to apply uh, should be equal to M total uh, G sine alpha minus the kinetic friction force, which is mu K times M total G cosine alpha. So with that, uh, we can take this into M total G parentheses, M total times G parentheses sine alpha minus mu K cosine alpha. All right. So I need to know what alpha is in order to calculate a numerical value here. So I'm going to look at the geometry in this case. Um, I have a right triangle. Here is my angle alpha. Uh, so this distance is 4.75. This distance is 2.5. So one side is uh, has a length 4.75 meters. The other side has a length 2.5 meters as I have uh, copied from the figure. So therefore tangent alpha in this case is uh, 2.5 divided by uh, 4.75 uh, which gives me an angle alpha roughly uh, 27.8 degrees. Okay, but uh, basically I don't need tangent alpha, I need sine alpha and uh, cosine alpha. So what is the uh, total weight here? The masses were uh, 32 kilograms and 48 kilograms. So if I add up these two, 32 plus uh, 48 total mass times gravitational acceleration 9.8 meters per second square sine alpha uh, sine of 27.8 uh, minus mu k uh, for the coefficient of kinetic friction between the uh, the ramp and the lower box is 0 0.44 here. So this is minus 0 0.444, 444, cosine 27.8 degrees. And if I calculate this, I come up with a force which is uh, 57.1 newtons. Uh, so I can see that all numbers are given with three significant figures. So I have uh, basically rounded this answer to three significant figures. So the force F is 57.9, uh, one newtons, it should be directed up the ramp in order to achieve this a constant velocity a motion down the ramp, I have to apply a force of 57.1 newtons up the ramp. Now, uh, in part B, what is the magnitude and direction of friction force on the upper box? All right, so uh, this was my answer for part A. Now, for part B, I'm going to draw a free body diagram for box two. Box two was the one that's uh, at the top here. All right. So 
So box two, modeled as a particle, uh, will feel its weight uh, due to gravitational force from Earth, m to g, which is pointing down. And here is the axis uh, perpendicular to the ramp. So this angle is alpha. Uh, and there will be a force applied by uh, box 1 on box 2, which is the normal force on box 2. So this will be force applied by M1 on M2. And there will be a friction force. Now this is uh, basically uh, coming together with box 1 at constant speed, 15 centimeters per second. Uh, therefore, uh, it has to have a, a force, static friction, which is balancing uh, the uh, the force on the ramp so static friction fs will be pointing up uh, making an angle alpha with respect to the horizontal and why is this uh, static because the box 2 is not moving with respect to box 1 so they're moving together and once again i call the uh, the axis on which i have friction here uh, the x-axis and normal to the box I have the y-axis all right the net force on the y-axis should be zero uh, force applied by m1 on m2 should be balancing the co component of the weight on that axis which is m2 g cosine alpha and the net force on the x-axis must be zero because I have a constant velocity motion on the x-axis together with box one. So m2g sine alpha, the component of the weight on the uh, ramp, uh, in the direction of the ramp, uh, should be balanced by static friction fs. And that's because acceleration of the uh, second box is zero so I have net force equals to uh, zero and the relative velocity of box two to box one is also uh, zero so box two has a mass 32 kilograms so this is 32 times uh, 9.8 meters per second squared times sine 27.8 degrees this must be equal to static friction force and static friction force is basically uh, found to be 146 uh, newtons in i hat direction which is uh, directed up the ramp because i have defined my x-axis to be positive x-axis to be the direction up the ramp uh, this should be in i hat direction 146 newtons uh, in i hat direction or in other words it's directed up the ramp that was the question so the magnitude and direction of the friction force on the upper box okay now to summarize we have two boxes, box 2, 32 kilograms, and box 1, 48 kilograms. These two boxes are to be uh, lowered on this ramp with a constant speed. So there is no acceleration on this axis. And uh, there is a force that is being applied by this man uh, on this by pulling on the rope, uh, which is going to be a tension on this rope. Uh, and there is friction uh, between the surfaces uh, of the ramp and the two boxes and at the interface between the two boxes. So uh, since 32 kilograms is not moving with respect to 48 kilograms, they're moving together. Static friction is an action on uh, the 32 kilograms uh, box. And on the 48 kilograms uh, box, there will be kinetic friction as well as the static friction uh, acting on it. 
Now, in order to find what force I need to exert to accomplish this task, I've considered box 1 and 2 together, which will cancel, uh, which will uh, allow me not to think about the mutual forces between the two boxes. So the two boxes as a single particle will have the total weight, m total g, pointing down. There is the force F that the uh, that we're applying uh, using the rope uh, because the, the, the two boxes are moving down with respect to the ramp. That's the direction of motion. Kinetic friction should be pointing up the ramp and there is the normal force from the ramp. The net force on the y-axis is zero. Kinetic friction is mu k times the normal force. And net force on the x-axis is also zero because we have constant velocity motion. X-axis is, by the way, defined as the positive x-direction is up the ramp and positive y-direction is normal to the ramp, uh, pointing up. So the net force on the x-axis, F plus kinetic friction minus the component of the weight on this axis, M total G sine alpha is zero. Substituting for kinetic friction mu k times N and N M total G cosine alpha, uh, we can find N F provided that we figure out the properties of this angle alpha here based on this geometry because I have a right triangle here. Uh, I can use tangent alpha to determine uh, what the angle is. And then I can find sine alpha and cosine alpha. Uh, and using the proper coefficient of kinetic friction given to me, I get a force of 57.1 newtons directed up the ramp. Now, in order to determine the static friction, uh, friction force on the upper box, uh, I have drawn a free body diagram for box two. There is the weight of box 2, there is the normal force from box 1 applied to box 2, and there is static friction pointing up the ramp here. Uh, why is it static friction? Because there is no acceleration and there is no relative uh, motion. Okay, so relative uh, velocity with respect to box 1 is 0. So we have static friction. Okay, and uh, this static friction should be pointing up the ramp because it has to balance the component of the weight down the ramp. Okay, so the normal force is balancing the component of the weight on the uh, normal axis, M2G cosine alpha on the y axis, and static friction force is M2G sine alpha balancing uh, this uh, force, uh, provided that it is uh, less than mu s times. Uh, n, right? So um, if you calculate uh, mu s times n, the maximum value of static friction is uh, mu s times uh, the force applied uh, by m1 on m2. So uh, the since the uh, static friction uh, coefficient is 0 0.8 here, so this would be 0 0.8 times uh, m2, which is 32 times uh, 9.8 times uh, cosine of 